this study's lesson today, we'll be looking at conditional clauses. I repeat, conditional clauses. But before we go into the objective of today's lesson, let's attend to the correction of our homework. Here is the correction to the previous homework for lesson two. And the answers are pasted in red color. Now assess yourself. Did you get the four correct? If you did, good job you. Let's go to today's lesson. The objective of this lesson, that by the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify the three types of conditional statements, complete conditional sentences with appropriate verb tenses. What are conditional statements? If a statement or declaration is conditional, it will only be done if something else happens first. Thus, its outcome depends on another thing. A conditional sentence begins with if, or in some cases, unless. It expresses something that must be true before something else can be true. That is one thing relying on another. Let's have examples. If Absata comes, Umoru will help her. If Absata comes, Umoru will help her. This shows that it is possible that Absata will come. So the sentence is known as open or likely or real condition. The conditional clause, if Absata comes, is in the simple present tense. While the main clause, Umoru will help her, is in the simple future tense. Let's have another example, please. If Absata came, Umoru would help her. If Absata came, Umoru would help her. This shows that Absata has not come and she's unlikely to come. This is known as the unlikely or unreal condition. The conditional clause, if Absata came, is in the simple past tense, while the main clause, Umoru would help her, is also in the simple past tense. Let's move on. If Absata had come, Umoru would have helped her. This shows that Absata did not come at all, so Umoru did not help her. We call this unfulfilled or rejected condition. I hope you're following me, children. The conditional clause, if abstata had come, is in the past perfect tense. While the main clause, umoru would have helped her, is in the present perfect tense. Let's have more examples. An example of a likely condition is, if she wants, she can take it. If you want, you can take it. That's a likely condition. An example of an unlikely condition is, if she wanted, she could take it. If she wanted, she could take it. Not talking about the unfulfilled condition. The example would be, if she had wanted, she could have taken it. If she had wanted, she could have taken it. Let's note that in unlikely conditions, a singular subject of a conditional clause can take where? In unlikely conditions, a singular, ob a singular subject of a conditional clause can take where? For example, if I were the president, I would ensure free education at all levels. If I were the president, I would ensure free education at all levels. If I were the man, he would have rejected the offer. If I were the man, he would have rejected the offer. Now it's time for our evaluation. Let's check how attentive you have been to the lesson. 
Now do this. Complete the following sentences with the correct form of the verbs in brackets to fulfill the conditional types indicated. Time up. Let's do the correction so that we know how attentive you have been. Yeah. The answers are coded in red. If I study hard, I will gain admission into a secondary school of my choice. The present goes with the future tense. If I want a jackpot, I would buy a house for my mother. If I want a jackpot, I would buy a house for my mother. Did you get that correct? If she had listened to her mother, she would not be living miserably. If she had listened to her mother, she would not be living miserably. That is the unfulfilled condition. If I were a doctor, I would develop a vaccine against the virus. If I, if I were a doctor, I would develop a vaccine against the virus. The answer is where? Because it is expressed in the unlikely condition. How many of you got the four correct? Did you get it? Then, good job you. But if not, there is room for improvement. Assignment time. At your leisure, Please copy and do this assignment. If we dash at home, we will not contract the virus. Stay. Express it in the likely condition. If the children dash their mother, they would not have incurred a wrath. Obey to be expressed in the unfulfilled condition. If schools dash before the end of May, we will still write our examination. If schools dash before the end of May, we will still write our examination. The, the verb is reopen and is to be expressed in the unlikely condition. If you dash a doctor, your illness will not have gotten worse. If you dash a doctor, your illness will not have gotten worse visit to be expressed in the unfulfilled condition. If the teacher dash enough rest, he will be in good health always. If the teacher dash enough rest, he will be in good health always. Get to be expressed 
and the likely condition. We have come to the end of the English studies lesson for today. Over now to Mr. Agbaje, the mathematician, for the mathematics lesson.